Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today we're gonna get experimental up in here. There's a little project I've had on my mind for a long while now and I haven't executed on it yet because of time constraints and because I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. But last week's video was a little intense for my usual content and I wanted to buffer it with a nice and light-hearted one for y'all this time. Many years ago I had this dope hoodie custom painted by my good friend Megan. She's an incredibly talented illustrator and designer who made me this vicious and fun dragon design on a light pink hoodie. And y'all know how much I love my light pink. Unfortunately, because of the light color, the hoodie got real nasty with all sorts of stains and I couldn't wear it out anymore. So I used it as a bummy, comfy, stay at home hoodie for a long time, but I wanted to figure out a way to salvage it and rock it once more. So I thought to myself, Modi, you do all these bleach painted clothing designs and people seem to dig them. What if you painted your own design to complement the existing one and get rid of all the stains and turn it into a sick collab all at the same time? Well, truthfully, I have no idea if the bleach is going to be able to clean the stains or how the hoodie will react to it. I assume the bleach will turn everything it touches white because the hoodie is already light pink, but the hoodie is also 50% polyester, which I learned in my USA hoodie design is not the best thing for bleach paint. But truthfully, I have nothing to lose because I can't wear the hoodie in this condition anyways. So let's put on our lab coats and see how this experiment goes, shall we? I'll start by laying out the hoodie and stuffing it with a big slab of cardboard to keep it as flat and rigid as possible. Then I'll pull out my sketching tools. By dipping a chalk pencil into water, it helps the chalk transfer over to the cloth more effectively. Now I can use this to sketch on some light white chalk lines for my design. I'll add some clouds in the air and some scales along the dragon's body. Then I wanted to add a whole medieval skyline to the pocket that the dragon is lording over. Once I have the sketch down, I can get to bleach it. I'm not sure exactly how the bleach will react, so I started with a couple areas of fill to see. One with stains and one without. Honestly, it didn't seem like it was doing anything at all, which was really disappointing. But I pressed on to fill in the entire first layer so I could leave it reacting overnight and see if there was any change at all. One thing I did notice immediately is that the polyester was going to give me some trouble, which I fully expected. As I learned from my USA hoodie project, polyester makes the bleach spread out from where it's put down and leak into entirely unwanted areas. but. At this point, it's just a matter of doing the best I can with the constraints I have. So not the most promising first day ever, but when I left for the night, I did notice that some of the areas I had put down first were turning white. And I noticed in a couple of spots with stains, the lighter stains were gone and the heavier stains were starting to let up. So that gave me some hope. But at this point, I just had to wait and see. I came back to see that the white was showing through quite nicely and some of the stains were starting to let up. However, some other stains not only weren't fully disappearing, but were actually pushed by the bleach into new areas as well. So I hit these more troublesome areas with another layer of bleach, hoping that would help some. The most troublesome areas for the stains were along all the trimmed areas for the hoodie's various holes. You know, the hole rolls, as I called it. The opening of 
the hood, the cuffs of the sleeves, and the trim along the bottom opening of the hoodie. So I needed all of these areas to be filled with white, giving the hoodie a nice two-tone graphic effect. But even all that delicious bleach couldn't fully remove the stains. And I was starting to lose my mind and my faith, so I needed a new approach and decided to try spraying the more troublesome stains with vinegar before loading the hoodie into the washing machine and washing it on hot. And this actually worked amazingly well for the dirt stain specifically. However, it didn't work on some of the other miscellaneous random stains of unknown origins on other parts of the hoodie, and it left the bleach painting a little bit too subtle for what I was going for. Also, because of the polyester making the bleach run, a lot of my outlines were completely shot, and I needed them to be much, much cleaner. So I decided to do what I probably should have done from the very beginning and brought out the it's time to stop messing around here and just paint over our problem areas this project has already taken over double the time I expected and now I am pissed I mean not really but I wanted this to work because I think the design is gonna be sick and I want to show it off so I'll pull out some generic white acrylic paint and just paint over all the bleached areas if this doesn't work for me then whatever man I just give up this gave me the super crisp white that I wanted from the beginning with the little added secret bonus of some nice paintbrush texture that I thought adds to the beauty of the design. Honestly, I am kicking myself for not just thinking of this from the beginning, but I really thought that the pure bleach would have been able to tackle this project no problem, but shows you how much I know. Honestly, I'm just throwing ish at the wall and seeing what sticks. The major places that I had problems with the bleach not making the cloth white enough was those dang hole rolls. The difference in material meant that I would have to use a minimum of three layers of bleach just to get to a point where you could really tell the difference and even then it wasn't enough. But outside of that, using this paint meant that I could go over all the other mystery stains and actually have them be covered up, which I did by adding more cloud patterns everywhere I found a stain, as well as adding cloud lumps around the edges of those hole rolls to make them more thematic. And after adding a bunch more clouds along the hood and the back, because of course there were more stains there, and because it makes this hoodie way cooler, this strange multimedia painting is finally complete and ready for those final shots. Thanks for watching.